Wow! But I think you should come and take a ride See the world through my eyes Every day is a surprise So I party like my birthday LA is my birthplace First place west side Loud as I wanna be Okay guys, one huge lifestyle tip. I'm, I'm sure we've said this before, but I'm gonna repeat it again. I really like these big plastic bottles. I don't know why, because that's why I can't put supplements in them. They can't end up stinking. I like the gallon ones too, but you'll put in like aminos and protein and you forget to clean it. It's a whole nother issue, but, but having like a liter and a half of water, I always try to make sure this is full and that I'm always drinking it. I get my hydration in easily without any problems at all. Cause fine if you're just walking around with no shaker cup or just a really small glass at home, you're not gonna be drinking enough water that's recommended and needed for your diet. So just keep around like a big water bottle, a big canteen, whatever you guys like to use. Make sure you're always drinking your water and staying hydrated. With that being said, you don't want to be feeding your ego. You actually want to be building muscle within this. So make sure that you're not bouncing off your chest and you're doing full range of motion reps. So as you guys can see, a lot of the time it's a lot more than just being able to film YouTube videos. We're filming a collab with Scott Herman that should be posted soon. Uh, we're do also doing a Snapchat takeover about bench press on EHP Labs. So we try to do a lot of things when we're in the gym. So it can be very hard to film YouTube videos while doing all of that. So it's a lot of scheduling. And it's, it's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but a lot of different cameras, a lot of different themes, and we're out here working. Bro, that tea's looking fresh. This is good lighting, you're looking huge, actually. Oh, you haven't picked one up yet? I already have five, pal. You're missing out, man. It's beautiful. song that we beat to death in Tucson, okay. I know it breaks your heart, moved to the city in a broke down car and boy, it's no clouds, and I'm looking pretty in a hotel bar and I, I, I can't stop, no, I trying to gun it for some like functional kind of movement thing going on here. So we're trying to get away from just doing three sets of eight for everything or just like really dedicated powerlifting exercises. That's why we're trying to add things like step ups. So we're just using 45s, we're walking up, 
This is about knee high for 15 reps. This is really good for like just everything because you're holding on, it's like a farmer's walk. You're working your step ups, you're working your legs in a functional, applicable way. And it's just something really good to implement for sport, for our general strength, and just to switch up the routine a little bit. Oh, so you're just here. I like to switch up the legs, I do. So this is great cardio, um, good for functionality. Another thing is don't use weight where you're gonna like die. Um, and the, at the very top of the movement, make sure you're fully straining your legs and you're not taking your sweet old time. You're doing this in a nice and fast manner, but controlled, let's go. So, she's on the phone doing cardio. Actually, she's I'm got her Starbucks drink. She was holding it at first, but yeah. You guys have seen her on the channel. Check her out. She does makeup and stuff like that. Yeah, the days that I do oh, makeup. Oh, and she's watching Snapchats. Wow, there's a puppy. <laughs> Kyle. Hey guys, what's going on? So I just wanted to introduce you to our buddy Mike. Um, this is actually one of Josh's clients who he's been coaching for the last couple months online. Um, and he actually, today he took the drive down all the way from Michigan to Toronto. Uh, I think it took him about six hours to come lift with us and uh, he wanted to hit some PRs and today was super awesome. Um, actually getting to meet him. He's a big advocate of Colossus Fitness to my understanding as he has every one of the t-shirts we own. Um, but anyway, so he hit a squat PR. This is, I believe, leave uh, 385 pounds got nice and low I um, mean it was really cool just working with him uh, you know trying to find a few ways to fix up his bench press um, and then work on his deadlift form as well but Mike is going to be competing in his first powerlifting meet in the next four to five months so we're super excited to see him progress towards that and uh, it's cool because a lot of our clients actually that we work with online we've actually never gotten to meet them so it was really fun to have Mike come down for the day um, and just hit some PRs and eat some good food Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, and we will talk to you soon. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please and thank you. We're still killing you here, but in the last tip I have for you, which is a big one, especially as someone who probably has to work out by yourself sometimes. So if you're benching out here, for me to unrack this, it's ridiculous. So awkward. Yeah. Right? So I noticed speaking out a bit. So if you start, like I usually go all the way back here. I have to make sure my neck is like right about under. And all it is is right? As opposed to like dragging it super far. Definitely helps. Because even from the drag you can lose your pen. Okay. You got it. Sit down a bit more. You got it. Yeah, nice. There you go. Up, 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 up. Up. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Nice. So if you pull a dead bar like this, right, it'll push you forward. Whereas pulling the socks, see how you can already get a good. So if you can engage it while you load your back here, you already have like that rip out of it. Whereas if you just grab a dead bar, it can punch you. That's the thing, but. You've never heard of Sushi LA? No. It's Canadian, dude. All right, so this is a really good meal. This is like the most Canadian restaurant we could come up with. It's basically just like chicken, a bun, uh, the gravy sauce is really locale for some reason, which is sweet. So all in all, I'm talking 87 protein, 107 carbs, 36 fat, but that's with the plum sauce. Oh wow, 87 protein? I know, it's wow. not, not a bad deal. Thank you so much. You're welcome, enjoy your meal. I leave the butter everything on the side. Nice and speedy. <laughs> this guy's so happy that he got another bun. I got an extra bun, man. These are so good, especially when you dip it in the sauce. It's my guilty pleasure. Oh baby. You can have one too. <laughs> Look how happy you are. I am happy. Oh, there's the money. Mm. I'm the happiest you've ever looked at a video. I'm always happy, but this made my day. Good. 
Okay. There we are. Menchies. First time, eh? First time. Once again. How's it going, boss? This is the biggest decision, eh? This is always the decision. Like, which one do I want? I mean, no matter what, you're a winner. Nutella? Big batter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now look. Oh, no, yeah. You remember us now? Yeah. yeah. A little bit of cookie dough. And then... I want to do one of my... A touch of Nutella. And then top it off with scores. So many things that I don't Show me. No problem, Red Show me. That was good. I'm wearing jeans. Go. Quick run. You <laughs> jumped from here. What? Dude. I'm pretty impressed with what? that. What? <laughs> Try it. I'm not trying that. Why? That's nuts. <laughs> Once again, here. That's nine feet? To there. It's not even normal, man. Oh, nine and a half. <laughs> So it's a Saturday, uh, Josh actually just said it's crazy what happens here on weekends because usually we come down here anytime from Monday to Friday, pretty cool show on but um, in our vlogs a lot of times people think that the area that we hang out in uh, is actually New York but it's kind of like a mini New York, the best way to describe it. So uh, yeah, check this out. When I cut the spaghetti from Charlie's hand, I want everyone to give Charlie a huge round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! Hey! Hello! Hi!